Hello, this is a uh, demonstration of uh, PSK31. PSK31 is a digital uh, data mode of ham radio. Uh, it can be done with any sound card on the computer, as long as it's configured properly to uh, shut off your local sounds. Today we'll be using a Tigertronic Signal Link USB, which is basically just a dedicated sound card. It's interfaced into a ICOM IC7000 multi-mode uh, and multi-band HF radio with an LDG IT100 auto tuner. With the auto tuner, you can basically tune just about any piece of uh, random wire to the frequency you wish to use. This is the waterfall, as it's known, of the audio signal. A single, uh, a single, single sideband audio carrier has a bandwidth of about three kilohertz. Each one of these yellow lines you see in here is a single audio frequency within that 3 kilohertz. And uh, using that, you can transmit data back and forth and keyboard to keyboard, and send short files and things like that. Today, we're going to be calling uh, CQ, which is amateur radio uh, speak and uh, used all over the place for seeking a contact, I CQ. So let's find an empty spot here on the waterfall. This looks good here. We're going to use uh, a tone of 1873 hertz. And we're going to press the uh, CQ button, which I've already pre-configured with all the information. And let's see if anybody gets back to us. While we wait for someone to come back to us, uh, talk to me a little bit about PSK. PSK, phase shift keying. Phase shift keying. We're basically taking, like I said, a, a single audio frequency, sending out a steady tone to that, and uh, if you want uh, wobbling it a little bit, just sending it off frequency. Off, uh, oh, I just uh, did something bad. <laughs> uh, I'm just sending it off frequency so we have the audio carrier like that and we're just phasing it 90, 45, 180, whatever degrees off, off center of the uh, frequency. And uh, using that you can transmit data across it. What is the uh, maximum, what, well what's the speed range you can go on PSK? 31 baud. That's all you can do? That's all you can do. Well there's, the, there's different modes of PSK, for example we can change our mode to uh, PSK 63 which would be 63 baud. Okay. And that uses a little bit more bandwidth. But uh, this way it's, it's uh, extremely efficient and it works where voice fails. Reason being because it takes up a lot less bandwidth. Reason being because it takes up a lot less bandwidth and the computer can decode it even if you can't hear it. Well, how much bandwidth does a PSK transmission normally take up? On average, guesstimate. Jeez. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, the entire, well, this so entire... The entire thing only takes up three kilohertz. A few, a few hundred hertz. So that's relatively efficient. Yeah. So how far can you really go with PSK in general? Well, PSK, you could uh, make contacts all around the world. And this is strictly in the HF band? This is strictly in... Well, actually, it's not strictly in the HF band. You can do it on uh, two meters, six meters, or 440. You can do it in any single sideband transmission. Is this something that a technician class license holder can practice? A technician class license can absolutely practice this on two meters. Okay, well, that's pretty interesting. Now, do you know of any uh, of uh, PSK modes operating from space, like International Space Station or satellites or anything? There are no PSK modes operating from uh, International Space Stations or satellites. Uh, I mean, it's really not needed. You don't really need a satellite for it because it's on a, a HF band in which, depending on propagation, you can get anywhere in the world with. How much wattage do you normally push out when doing PSK on, let's say, HF? Well, we're today, today we're running 100 watts. Normally, most people do 25 to 50 watts. And how far can that get you? That can get you around the world. Are there PSK repeaters? There are no PSK repeaters. So PSK is just strictly DX? It's, just it's strictly stadium. DX, or it could be around the corner if you wanted it you know, to station, be. Station, station to station. Station to station, it's a, it's a direct one-to-one. -one. Oh, would it be illegal to have a PSK repeater? I honestly don't know how that would work, but I guess you could make some sort of like a digipeter for PSK. Hmm. Okay. 
Now, I noticed that you were using the USB sound card, and you were mentioning that it would no uh, it would take a you could use a normal sound card. That's correct. Now, how hard would be something like that be to interface into your your actual ham radio? Well, it would be uh, very easy. Uh, the hardest part is going to be getting your computer to key the microphone up. Or the push to talk. The push to talk. Yes. Well, that's determined if whether or not your radio has a push to talk remote. Right. right. Well, a lot of them do. So you could probably interface the PTT button into the uh, the actual headset port of an HT, of a portable. Yeah, that's that's correct. So, theoretically speaking, you can do PSK with a laptop and an HT I mean, from there's, pretty there's much anywhere. Yeah, pretty much anywhere. I mean, technically, there's nothing stopping you from doing PSK even on FM transmissions. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So PSK is just one of the many different digital modes. You know, this isn't this is just beyond what amateur radio can do as as pertain to voice. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. And most people don't realize that, you know, amateur radio is not just people talking. There's actually a slew of digital modes that you can actually operate. There are many, many digital modes, which is why I use the Signal Link USB. Uh, with a dedicated device like this, you can operate any of the many digital modes, and well, there's hundreds of them actually. Well, well, what other uh, digital modes that you that you, you personally use? Well, some of the other digital modes that I personally use, I use uh, APRS all the time. Which, APRS? Yeah, Amateur Radio, uh, Amateur Positioning Radio Service. Which well, is? A lot of people call it a tracking service. Okay. Uh, basically, it interfaces with a GPS unit and a uh, two meter radio, and you can transmit your location wherever you are, and it can uh, pop up on a Google map, and you can see everybody wherever they are. You can send text messages, emails, and... Uh, well, PSK, PSK 31 is like the equivalent of text messaging on, in, on Instant Messenger. Right. Or, sorry, on uh, on Amateur Radio. That's correct. It's the equivalent of the Instant Messenger. Yeah, with APRS, though, you don't have to have a direct link. Okay. APRS goes through repeaters. Yeah, it goes through what's known as DigiPeters, digital repeaters. Okay. Now, with PSK, can you do email or anything like that? No, you can't. It's, it's, strictly, well, that's... it's strictly screen to screen. Okay, but there are different... Modes there are different modes that you can send email with. There's a WinLink, Pactor, many things like that. And the software we're using today is? The software we're using today is free software called DigiPan. Okay. And in later segments, hopefully we will get into D-Star, if you're willing. We'll get into D-Star. There's other digital modes like uh, Hell Schreiber. Ooh, that's a fun one. Yes, it looks like a ticker tape from the old 1920s. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but we're not currently configured for it. Well, how much experience, I mean, how, how easy is it to get something besides cost-wise? How easy is it to set something like this up? Well, to get PSK up and running, it's actually extremely simple. Uh, if you just want to start listening to it, all you need is a uh, microphone laid on top of the speaker for the, uh, the radio. You know, granted, you don't have as much background noise as we do right now. No, that's correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, You'd be at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, this is also similar to, um, well, Radio TTY, just being that Radio TTY uses more bandwidth. That's correct. Radio uses much more bandwidth. Much more bandwidth. Yes. And above that would be Slow Scan TV, which I've showcased on other segments. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, kind sir. Hopefully, we can we can uh, do some more of this crazy amateur radio stuff later. And uh, work a bunch of contacts. All right. Hope to catch you guys on the air. All right. Later.